Hello sir. Thank you very much for all your advice on how to get promoted. I am now not only first on the list but I have been offered several specialty positions. That is good to hear. What positions were you offered? I was offered K9, Traffic, and the Set Team. Although, I do not know what the Set Team does. That is okay no one else knows what they do either. But, you might get a take home on marked car. That is good to have because you can not only use it for work, but you can use it for personal use too. I didn't think take home cars could be used for personal use. What happens if I get into a collision? No problem. Even if you are off duty, on a day off, and get into a collision on the freeway, you can just tell Admind that you were coming to work on unscheduled and unapproved time. They will think you are a hard worker and would not want to be embarrassed to ask if you were telling the truth. Then you can put in for overtime. This is one of those win-win situations. Additionally, you will be able to come and go as you please in the office. You'll never see anyone in patrol and everyone will forget about you. You will also be able to break the city overtime bank chasing jaywalkers and metal thieves without even making an arrest. You can not beat the free car, free gas, free insurance, and being able to take as much time off work as you need without ever losing vacation or holiday hours. You also get lots of out-of-state training in California, all expenses paid, totally unsupervised. On top of all this, you will have unfettered access to female informants. They are hot. What about traffic? I like riding motorbikes because I look cool in leather. When I am off duty, I like to not shave, dress up like an outlaw biker, and hang out in biker bars with actual criminal bikers. Those guys are cool. And chicks dig it. That is a good choice too. However, you will have to learn the art of being constantly unavailable for traffic collisions. You have to learn to always go to Seattle for equipment or be in a meeting whenever you hear the call. If you have the patience, you must attend many meetings during the graphic rush hour in order to not being available for drunk drivers or collisions. Another bad part of traffic is that may have to work with the Acid Queen. The Acid Queen? Is that someone I should sleep with to enhance my reputation for promotion? Sweet baby Jesus no. There are some things you can do for promotions and this is one of them. Just thinking of getting bent over a highly wearing chaps by a butt pirate gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay maybe I could pick K9. But I do not have the confidence to be able to find suspects running with a dog. That is okay just name your dog Rico. You are not expected to find suspects or even find your ass among holes in the ground. You also get a take-home car and extra pay for overtime to take care of the dog. You also get lots of overtime every time you called out. You can really milk it to boost your high five. These are not sounding good. There is too much work involved to avoid working. Maybe I should just stay in patrol. It is much easier to stick it to the man. I have even been catching up on my sleep in the highlands, sloughing every goal I can to the next shift and hitting up on all the dispatchers. They are really easy to talk to with texting. They seem to be easy. Before you make that leap of faith, have you seen the dispatchers? I do not think you can hang deep enough to flip the little man in the canoe. And if you get on bottom, you'll need the jaws of life to get you out from under. Stick with the co-workers, the coffee shop girls, and the occasional chippy you can find on your beat. At least they might not have their husband hide in the closet and take pictures while you get nasty. That sounds good. I am having a blast at this job. I've already had more sex than I ever had before. Although, I am a bit stressed with the internals and threats from administration. That is why you pay guild dues. If you do not get into any internals, you have wasted your dues. However, if you get into an internal... You can use your membership in the guild to the fullest extent possible, soaking up legal fees in your defense. This is one of the ways you can actually get your money back from your dues, plus have a good time while you're at it. And don't worry. If the guild doesn't want to represent you, just threaten to sue the guild. They will then represent you no matter what you do. That is a great system. No matter what I do, even when I have totally screwed the pooch with no defense, they always seem to go to bat for me. 
Those guys are great. One night, I got blasted and called 911, and falsely reported a murder. The police came and it got really busy, but they did not have much of a sense of humor. Good thing for the guild. You were going to go far, my boy? Just stay away from hot tubs and the C word. Those two things can cause you serious grief.